Anthony Hartwig back in Cardinal Mooney, another volleyball player profile for you. We're joined by another senior as well, Jada Lane. Jada, thank you so much for hopping on and, and joining us today. Thank you for having me. So let's let's talk about coming into this year and and some of the goals and mindsets that you think you had, you know, maybe in the summer working out and 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 the things that you wanted to accomplish when you stepped into the season. Um, this season, I really wanted to focus on having great energy and having a team where we could all feel welcome and positive together and work hard together. You know, we've talked to a couple of your teammates, and we had Coach Shaheen do a, a season preview. And the the closeness and chemistry of this team has been just apparent. How how much closer they've gotten this year? Um, how much do you attribute that to the success you've had so far early on in the year? I think by far we are one of the closest teams that I've ever been on. We bond a lot, and I think it's helping a lot on our game ethics, and it's been a, very helpful. Now, on your end, coming into the last go, you know it's the it's the last it's the last round for you. What's that been like handling all the emotions that that senior year brings with you? Um, it's been very exciting, but very sad too. Um, it's sad to see that it's coming to an end, but I'm so far mm -hmm. loving the senior year and loving the team that was given. Has it hit you yet that you're a senior? Has it sunken into reality, or do you think that it won't probably hit you until towards the end of the year? Um, it definitely has hit me now that we are almost halfway through the season. It has hit me that this is almost it. So you know yourself better than anybody. Talk about what you think you're going to go through on senior night. And you finally, that that's when the reality, no matter what hits you in the face. So what's that going to be like for you? I think it's going to be very emotional, but I'm still going to be very happy. I mean, I've worked a long way to get to where I'm at now. And I think I'm excited, but still emotional about it. Now, we know one of the big parts of senior nights is the underclassmen showing their appreciation to the seniors, gift bags, pictures, flowers, all that fun stuff. I'm going to try to help the underclassmen out a little bit. If if you could describe like a perfect gift bag for Jane Elaine, what, what do you think is going to go in there? What, what can they get you to make you feel special that night? I think, honestly, anything with meaning to it would be ideal for me I feel like the team knows me very well and if they got me anything with to it knowing who I am I would very much appreciate it if they got you a snack bag what are some of your favorite candy slash snacks again they can they can put in there my favorite candies I love chocolate any type of chocolate I love it and anything gummy mm. gummy chocolate <laughs> well maybe not that doesn't really sound that too appetizing now that I said it out loud um so underclassmen, though, there, I'm helping you out a little bit. Take some notes so you can be ready for a senior night. Uh, Jada, one of the things I want to talk about, you in the middle this year has just been electric. You know, your swings are strong. Your blocking is great. What kind of things have you done to really improve your game, especially the last two years on the floor? I think taking leadership on the court and kind of bringing everybody else's vibes up and the having great energy, helping the team feel confident, has been very helpful for me too because I feel like if the team feels confident, it makes me more confident in what I'm doing. One of the things we also see in your game that we don't always see with middle blockers is you're on the court even when you're not in the front row. You're back there serving. You're playing defense. How much pride do you take in being able to stay in the game past that uh, front court rotation? Um, A lot. I really like to communicate back there and mm – -hmm. I feel like my communication helps the team feel confident in what they're doing still, even if I'm not in the front row. All right. We've talked about the leaders that this team has. You're not the only senior by far. There's plenty of leaders on the team. Um, what's it like for you to share that leadership with other people and to not have the pressure of leading a team all on your shoulders? It's very nice having other seniors on the court with me to help, help the underclassmen like understand what we're doing and get them to, eventually be leaders themselves everyone leads in different ways right so what kind of thing is make you a leader what what are your leadership attributes my biggest thing is my energy i mean if somebody messes up i kind of tell them hey you got the next one you can do it and that helps a lot of people
We know you're a student athlete. Student comes first in that word for a reason. Talk about your classwork and some of the favorite subjects you've had throughout your high school career and the things you like studying about. Um, I think by far my favorites have been my math classes. We have very good teachers here and they help me understand and appreciate math more than I did before high school. (laughs) there's always different branches of math, right? Do you have like a favorite brand? Is it like geometry? Do you like the algebra? Do you like uh, the calculus? What, what, what are, what's your favorite branch of math? I would say algebra is my favorite. Yeah. When you think of maybe the bit, like your favorite math teacher too, I'm going to put you on the spot. You might have to make a couple of math teachers a little bit angry when you pick one that's a favorite. Do you have a favorite math teacher? It could be middle school. It could be high school. My freshman year, we had Mrs. Hughes as my math teacher. She was awesome. And then I never like to word this next question with least favorite class because I don't want to dig the teachers out there. But what's the class that's given you like the most trouble? The one that you had to work the hardest in to get the grade that you got? I would say sciences. Any science is something I really had to like think about a lot. Sometimes when I ask this question, it's a really quick answer, too, because the, the players ha- know this one well. So what teacher in, in Mooney gives the hardest tests? Our teacher, Mrs. Policy. <laughs> what makes her test so hard? Is it the length of the test? Is it We've heard some tests are, are short, and that's hard because you don't know what's going to be on them. Uh, what what makes her test so hard? She's a very hardworking teacher, and she will give you a good size test. <laughs> so challenge you. I like it. Um, what are some of your future goals? We don't want to see you go. We love covering you, but you're going to go to the next step in life. So what are some things that you have in your future outside of high school? After high school, I plan on going to college and pursuing a career in nursing. What, uh, what pushed you towards a career in nursing? What made you want to follow that career path? I've always been somebody that want to help people and work in the medical field. So I think that's the most important thing that's made me feel that way. How long have you had that decided that you wanted to be in the medical field, that you wanted to go in and be a nurse? Has that been something that you've kind of had locked in for a while or did it pop up recently that that's where you wanted to be? I've always been somewhere in the medical field. Whenever I was around like four or three, I would tell my mom I would be a mermaid doctor. (laughs) let's talk about you know where you want to go for college you might not have it locked down yet but do you have you know like a dream state or or kind of one of those one of those like top lists of these are the colleges I would love to go to I do want to stay around home so I have been looking at YSU Kent State or I do want to pursue college somewhere in Maryland where I also have family most people that want to stay around home uh, have a strong family life and, and really love spending time with them. So talk about your family a little bit and what makes them so special to you and what makes them kind of unique, you think, in your eyes. I have a very large and loving family. They've supported me since day one and they're very loving and they are supportive of anything I do. When you think of, you know, maybe some of the best advice your family has given you throughout your career, what do you think are some of the good nuggets of advice that someone from your family has given? Just to work hard and do your best. I want to also talk about role models because you're one, you're a senior, you have a lot of people looking up to you, but you can't be that without people to look up to yourself. So who are your role models? Who are the people that you think you've looked up to throughout your life? My mom and dad, for sure. My mom's a very hard worker, and my dad is also a very hard worker. He was a college athlete, and he said it was one of the most hardest things to do, but still one of the greatest things he's done. We'll flip that on his head and talk about you being a role model, what that feels like to you, knowing that not just the underclassmen on the team, but the youth of Mooney Volleyball and the people that might be playing for Mooney Volleyball in the next couple years, they're watching your team, they're watching you, and they're saying, I want to be – like Jada Lane when I grow up, what's that like for you? It's very nice. And I'm very grateful for the underclassmen that do look up to me. And I love being that role model for them. One of the things I've noticed in, in the volleyball games I've covered is that your guys are getting a lot of student support. I see the football team showing up in your student sections. Um, so I want to ask what that means to you, that that you have student support and that not a lot of, not a lot of the volleyball teams get sometimes. So 
what's it mean to know that you know your your fellow athletes and and your fellow students want to come out and watch you guys and cheer you on i'm very grateful for that that they do want to watch our sport a lot more than normally but they have been a great outcome for us and i think it helps us as a team to play better when you're not playing you get to be a part of a student section whether it be football, basketball, whatever it may be, what's your favorite sport to go and watch as a part of the student section? I would say basketball season is my favorite. Now, is that because you get to stay inside in the warmth and you don't have to deal with the cold of football season? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it can be real. It's okay. Um, let's talk about some things um, that, that pertain to just off the court personality wise. What are some things that you do to kind of take your mind off the sport or take your mind off all the busyness that senior year in high school and athletics can bring? What do you do to unwind? I just like to go home to my family, eat dinner together, and just have connection with them a lot because I am at the school for a good amount of hours every day. So it's nice to just go home and be around them. You said uh, dinner. So what's your favorite like home cooked meal? What, what, uh, what meal does your family specialize in? Chicken Alfredo is my favorite. <laughs> there you go. Um, what are some things that uh, you like to do with them? Like, uh, do you have family game nights? You like to, do you guys go out? Do you guys just stay in and watch TV? Well, what are some of the kind of family traditions you do when you get to spend time with them? Um, we love watching football games together, basketball, sporting events. We'll just all sit in the living room and watch that and eat dinner together. What uh, what allegiances does your does your family have to teams? Like what what's the fan what's the fandom that your family's in? Football for sure. My family is all around football. Family favorite football team? The Browns. <laughs> all right, awesome. Do you have kind of a favorite player? Um, Nick Chubb. <laughs> there you go. I like it. I like it. So Jada, what we do with these player profiles at the very end of them, uh, we like to give the player the chance to to turn the limelight off themselves because we've been talking about you for so long. Uh, we wanted you to, to give the chance to thank your support system, the people that have been there for you throughout the years and, and kind of give out your flowers per se to the people that you wouldn't be where you are without. I just want to say thank you so much for anybody and everybody that's ever supported me. You guys helped me come a very long way, and I appreciate every moment of it. All right, Jada, we want to thank you so much for taking the time to join us today. We appreciate the time. Wish you the best of luck the rest of your senior season, and we can't wait to talk again real soon. Thank you so much.